Hey guys, Hack Tutorials, and today I bring to you the second video of my series How to Make an RTM Tool in C++. So today what we're going to achieve is we're going to be making a connect and attach page on our RTM tool. So we're going to design it and code it. So let's get right in. Um, first off, you're going to need a debug eboot for your game in order for your RTM tool to attach. And uh, before that, you need to be on a DEX PS3. And you need to know how to use Target Manager, uh, which is right here. Okay. If you don't know if you don't, if you're not on Dex and you don't know how to use Target Manager, then get on Dex and learn how to use Target Manager because I have a video on how to, to do both. So if well, once you're familiar, we could actually get started. So um, first thing you're going to need to do is get your debug eboot for the game you want to make this RTM tool for. We're going to be doing this for MW3. Okay, you could follow my steps and do this for any other game, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this on MW3. And if you want to just be safe, then do it on MW3 as well. Um, okay, so here's a debug eboot that I downloaded. Um, and in order to install it, you can use FileZilla or you could just use Target Manager. So just go ahead and connect to your PS3 however you want to. Uh, I'm on Target Manager. I'll go to File Explorer. Go into dev underscore hdd0. Go into game in lower caps. And find the game you want to modify. So mine's MW3 and that would be Blues 30838. Go into USR DIR, and then here's the eboot that you can replace. So here's my eboot.bin, I'll just drag it in, and it should say succeeded. So once that's done, you could go ahead and minimize this. Uh, next thing is we're going to have to download um, Milky's uh, header file. That's going to help us make this whole entire thing. Uh, it has a bunch of functions in it, so again, thanks to Milky. Uh, it's called ps3lib.h. We're going to be using it in our project. So it downloaded. I already have one on my desktop, that's why it says one. Um, but nonetheless, uh, go inside Qt Creator, and we're going to be starting a new project. So uh, hopefully you've seen my previous video where we set up Qt Creator to be static. Um, what that means is basically it allows uh, Qt Creator to compile your program with uh, most of the resources built into it. That, that means that uh, you don't have to have a bunch of DLL files just like roaming around inside the folder like most RTM tools do. Um, it'll make things a lot more compact. So uh, go ahead and cl create a new project. Under Applications, uh, click Qt Widget Application. Click Choose. Let's name it whatever we want. I'll name it Tutorial. Click Next, Next, Next. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to Kids. Let's make sure now you know what, we'll just set the kit afterwards. So just click next, then finish. Uh, and here's our project. So let's see if we can go ahead and change the kit. Okay, so use the cute version that you made in the previous video. So um, I don't, I no longer um, have that. So it's right here, but I don't, I don't no longer have it. So I'm gonna use the old one that I have. Um, so apply that. And then go to kits, and then use the one that you made as well. Apply, and then click OK. Now go into debug down here, click static, and click release. Make sure that these two are selected. For you, it might not be called static, it might be called something else, whatever you called it. But make sure you at least have something called release. So once you have all that, we are ready to begin. So first, minimize this, and we're going to go inside our Qt folder. So mine's called Qt2. Go into tools. Go into Qt Creator, bin, and then find the uh, the project we just made. So I just started a tutorial. So go inside there, and we're going to drag ps3lib inside here. And I'll rename it to just ps3lib without the one. What am I doing? Is there still a space there? I just want to be perfect. Nope, it's good. Okay, so ps3lib.h. There we go. So close out of that. Now we can go inside here. And inside mainwindow.cpp, we're going to go ahead and include that header file. So, guys, just want to make sure you you please know C++ before you come here, okay? I'm not here to teach you how to do C++. I mean, I expect you to know the syntax and basics of how it works. Because uh, we're, we're actually not going to be doing anything very complicated in C++. It's so not going to be pretty basic C++. So I don't want to teach you anything. If you really want to, you could copy down everything I do, but what's the fun in that? I, you know, 
go watch some tutorials on it. So we're going to include the header file by typing hashtag include, um, and then we're going to type ps3lib, and it already has it here. So there we go. If you type it in and it gets underlined in green, that means that it's not in the project folder and you messed up. But it shouldn't do that. So here we have ps3lib.h included. Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually design the page that we're making today, which is the connect and attach page. Um, so we're not going to be focusing too much on design, but we're going to make it, you know, functioning. How would I say that? Functionable, functioning. We just want to make it function and be usable. Um, so let's scroll down and make, let's see, what's it called? A tab widget. So just drag it on. Whenever you want to add anything, just drag it. And we can make it bigger. And basically, this just allows us to have multiple tabs, which the first one's going to be the connection one. The second one might be like a mods one, another one might be name changer, all that. So this is tab one. In order to change the name, just click on tab one, scroll down, and rename it to whatever you want. So I'm going to name it connection. Click enter, and there we go. So the first thing we're going to do is add a group box. And this is where we're going to put uh, tmappy or ccappy but we're actually not going to be using uh, ccappy um, because I haven't actually gotten it to work so that's why it's crucial you need to know how to use tmappy um, we're still gonna make this box to make things uh, more organized so to rename it all you have to do is just double click on the text and rename it to maybe API we're just gonna move this to make it centered it looks good and we're gonna add a radio button inside here and I'm going to name it tmappy okay that looks pretty good perfect uh, so now that you have that first thing I like just make sure you rename most of the things that you use to make it a lot easier to uh, reference so um, instead of calling it radio button one or two or three or whatever I'm simply going to call it tmappy Okay, that's the object name. Um, now we could add the, our, our connection or our connect and attach buttons. So it's called a push button. Just drag the push button on, resize it to your liking. Looks good. Name it connect. Okay, and then rename this to connect the object name. So again, it's easier to reference. Now you could go ahead and copy and paste it. So control C and control V and rename this to attach. Okay, cool. And then we're going to uh, call this attach. Now we have the basis and let's go ahead and try and build it. Let's see how this works. All right, cool. So as you can see, we have connect, attach, tmappy, blah, blah, blah. Pay tap two is empty. Looking pretty good. Uh, and while we're at it, instead of calling this main window, we could just rename the poll program. So um, click on the outside. And we don't actually rename this. We have to scroll down. And it says window title. Let's just call this RTM tool. Ah, that looks bad. Now we can go ahead and build it again. Save all. And as you can see, it says RTM tool. Pretty cool. So now we're actually going to add the code to these buttons to actually let our program know what they do. Because right now they really don't do anything. We've just designed it. We've done the easy part. So go ahead and click on first the radio button. Uh, right click it. Click go to slot. Once clicked is highlighted, go ahead and click OK. And it will bring you to the main window.cpp. Um, and you'll have this, this void function right here and it says on tmappy clicked and again the reason why we renamed it to tmappy because otherwise it would say on radio button one clicked and when you're running through your code you know you're reading it it might get a little bit confusing because you might have a bunch of different radio buttons or a bunch of whatever so we know that this is the tmappy radio button um, otherwise you can name it really whatever you want to make it easier to use so in order to actually uh, make this button work um, inside the ps3 lib uh, header file we have a function called set API so it's uh, it's inside of a uh, namespace called ps3 
So in order to access it, we just type ps3, then two colons, and then uh, you're gonna type set API, just like that, and let's just put semicolon right there. And what we're gonna do is there, uh, t there's tmappy and ccappy that we could use, um, and they're both inside the ps3 namespace, so we're gonna have to access that again. So ps3, colon, colon, and we can write tmappy. There we go. So just to go over what this does, is basically um, it searches the namespace ps3, which is inside ps3lib.h, for a function called seek, uh, set API, which basically just simply sets API to tmappy or ccappy, and then inside the parameters um, or inside the parentheses, um, we uh, define it as tmappy, not ccappy. Okay, perfect. Um, if you were to have another radio button as an example, let's say this is just an example. Let's say you had a radio button called ccappy. My bad then this would be ps3 ccappy okay but we don't have that so i'm going to leave that great so now our radio button has a function now we could go back inside the main window.ui or ui whatever you want to call it it just stands for user interface really and now we could click on connect right click it and click go to slot and once clicked is highlighted click ok and you'll find another void function right here on connect clicked so basically, uh, this is saying what's going to happen when we click the connect button. So we have another function inside the PS3 namespace. Pretty much everything is in the PS3 namespace that we're going to be using. Um, uh, it is called, hold on, it's called connect. Very, very simple. So we're going to click, so we're going to type PS3 colon colon connect. Uh, I'm going to put the semicolon there. And inside here, we're just going to type in the IP of the PS3 and when we're using tmappy there's just a default IP it's whatever comes with your target manager so in my target manager um, my PS3 is read as 192.168.137.116 so when we type in default IP it knows what to look for so we're simply going to type in all caps default tmappy IP just like that default tmappy IP uh, and it should light up blue a little bit, like the navy blue, I don't know. So if it doesn't light up blue, then you've done something wrong, um, but it should be it should be blue. Uh, you should have a function like this. So if this was ccappy, um, and I'm just showing you these if kind of things, even though we're not going to be using this uh, for now. So let's say it was ccappy. Right here we'd have to um, either type in our IP, my bad. Let me just delete this. You'd be like, no, what's going on? I just want to delete this. It'd be like 192.168.137.116. Or you could simply do something like, like, or something like qstring IP equals uh, 192.168.137.116 and then inside here you'd go IP that will work too but I haven't gotten ccappy to work yet so we're not going to be dealing with that again alright so we have so far is we have our tmappy radio button which sets the API to tmappy not ccappy and we also have our connect button, which uh, basically just connects to our PS3 when we click it uh, using the default IP, which it reads from the target manager. And now we're going to go to our attach button in here. So right click on attach, click go to slot, and once clicked is highlighted, click OK. And you get another function over here. <clears throat> so this just, uh, this is like what happens when you click on attach. So right, PS3, colon, colon attach just like that that's all and that works so let's go ahead and run it to make sure that everything works so click build save all and now you should have this everything is looking good just like it did before uh, and so my ps3 is on as you can see right here I can just go ahead and uh, go in 
and we should be able to connect to their PS3. So first we select TMAPI, and with a connect, it should say connected to PS3 and success. That means it has connected. I don't know why there's a red X, but well, I, I really don't know. I mean, I looked through the code and stuff, and it looks like Milky did everything correctly. I don't see a problem, but for some reason, uh, there is an X right here instead of like <clears throat> one of those blue signs that means it's correct, but whatever. So just ignore that for now, maybe I'll fix it later on, but as long as you can see success and connect to the PS3. So go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to try the, con the, the attach function. So go inside your game, in our case it's MW3. Hold on, let me mute this. <clears throat> I'll just let the game load up. Um, you could honestly just do it right away, but better to wait. Alright, so as you can see, there's the game. Let me click Attach. Oh, it says Cannot Attach. Yeah, I don't know why this happens, it's a bug, but just click Connect again, and now you can click Attach, and now it says Attach to Game Process. So everything works totally fine so far. Just really the only issues, I guess, is this red button here, and it takes like two tries to actually attach the game. Other than that, everything works. So uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to add mods like God Mode and stuff. And in another video, I'll show you how to do a name changer and all that kind of stuff. So we'll just build off of what we have here. But um, so far, what we have is uh, pretty good. Um, also, actually, I might want to show you another thing. Um, just so you know how to do it. Um, or I'll actually build it real quick. So uh, on many RTM tools, when you connect or attach, you might see on the bottom left corner that it says connected or attached. And I'll, sh I'll just show you how to do that. Um, I haven't gotten it to work like <clears throat> flawlessly, but just the function for it. So on connect, inside this connect function, just make another line of code. It would be UE. And that's just basically where all our um, basically like objects and design features are so it would be inside mainwindow.h and you could see namespace UI mainwindow UI blah 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 so um, let's go back so this just allows us to access uh, different kinds of things so this would be inside the status bar so you can see it's right here status bar and then type one of those and it would be, um, nope, my bad here, hold on. It was show message. And then inside here, you could type whatever you want. So it would be like connected. And then the same thing right here would be like this. Show message. Attached. So basically what this does, in case you're not familiar with this part of C++, is um, we have some sort of... Well, we're just basically accessing things, and uh, so in order to access the status bar, the status bar is located inside here, and in order to... and then basically we, we want to show the message on the status bar, uh, and the message is going to be attached or connected. I don't know if, I, if I'm explaining this well. So we have status bar, it's located inside UE, so basically we want to access status bar, we want to access show message, and we want to write connected. Um, so that's how you would do it, and now if we try it out. Team Appy, connect, attach. So as you can see down there, it already said connected, now attach, and then it says attached. Um, only problem is that if it doesn't work, it'll still say that. Um, so you can figure out how to fix that bug there anyway. But I'm going to get rid of this because I don't think this is, ne this is totally necessary. So anyway, if you thought this video was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. And otherwise, stick around. I will see you next time.